Hi Neil, Sean here in the very heart of London and as ever thank you so much for joining me today on this very sad time in fact. But as ever Royal News moves on and moves at a fast pace. Now as we know we've seen the arrival of course of His Royal Highness Prince Harry back into the Royal Fold turning up alone. But now he has a very big problem to deal with and it's not really necessarily family related. But as ever what is it? Hello, I hope you're all keeping well. As I say, I know it's a very sad time for many, but you know, the uh, the news rolls on, sadly, and that is what it's all about, breaking news. The difficulty now for, of course, Prince Harry himself is, what now does he do with the dilemmas and the controversies that he's created for himself over the last couple of years? Of course, one could have foreseen this terrible tragedy. I mean, let's face it, you know, our wonderful monarch was 96 years old in Hill Health, and of course, Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, had no plans to visit the Queen, even though apparently they'd been offered, uh, you know, their hand of friendship uh, towards the end of July for an informal meeting. Seems very strange, doesn't it, now, when you think about it? But the biggest dilemma that Prince Harry now has is all about the mega deal that he did with the book company, Penguin Random House. As you know, he got paid, you know, a substantial amount of money to write his memoirs, memoirs that apparently are ready signed off and gearing up to go into promotion within the next couple of weeks for a winter release. Now the bigger problem is this, Penguin Random House will now have to, you know, decide whether they want to put this on the back burner for a while or indeed will they decide to capitalise on the fact of the situation, you know, it puts Prince Harry very much in the heart of the story. Now, obviously, it would be seen very tacky, wouldn't it, if they proceeded ahead. I can't imagine many people would rush to buy this book, seemingly with what we appear to know what's going to be inside. According to a very good source, Prince Harry's been having doubts over the last couple of weeks, hence the fact that we've seen him looking rather glum. You know, the realisation could possibly have come to him that this may have not been the best of ideas. This was over a year and a half ago, of course, when he struck the deal. But for Prince Harry now moving forward, he has to make that very big decision. Can he return the money back to the publisher? Will they agree to this? Or indeed now, will he force him through and publish the book which could become incredibly damaging, not just for him, but the brand new reign of his father, King Charles. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.